Hey guys, it's So from So's Real Thoughts and Sal from Chrome Yellow. We went to Beyond Fest and had the most awesome time watching the best films and one of our favorite films is Karen Kusama's The Invitation. So it's... This starts off and it's about a um, just a man and he's invited to uh, his ex-wife and her new um, boyfriend invite him and a bunch of other friends that haven't seen each other uh, in like a, a few years to have like a dinner party up in the Hollywood Hills somewhere yeah. and as soon as um, you know like uh, he they, they get there stuff seems kind of off and um, things maybe are not what they seem she and gets crazy that's the basic premise but with a movie like this you really don't want to say too much yeah um, what I will say is <clears throat> that um, Karen Kusama is a fucking genius and she kills it in this movie because she is able to finesse the tones uh, in a way where it's not forceful and it doesn't trick you into thinking it's one way or another but really guides you through this story where whatever happens you'll be okay with it because um, it, you're like you go through these necessary steps where you don't feel like you're being tricked to feel like it, they don't divert um there's a lot of tonal shifts yeah that and are... it's not uh deceptive in any way um and i think that's really hard to do especially because if you see a film like uh good night mommy yeah. and then you see a film like this it's different types of tonal shifts but this one is like very hard to do because it's dealing with like someone's mental state yeah. and you're writing it through with them um and so i th i thought it was thrilling especially because you're going through this with the main character played by uh Mar marshall logan green right that's logan logan marshall, marshall green. green that's it <laughs> logan marshall green who is so terrific and it's amazing because i feel like a lot of um well a lot of films like this tackle it in a female's perspective and I, I thought it was refreshing seeing it from a guy's perspective and seeing <clears throat> him kind of like lose his marbles in a way yeah. and um, he was he was like so excellent and I because it's so rooted in reality I think at the very end um, things get very real very quickly <laughs> and I think just that fact uh, haunts you so much more deeply than any other film would have um, we're like not telling you anything. Yeah, it's it's like, hard to like, yeah, you have to skirt around the issue kind of thing. But yeah, the movie is a constant like, uh, escalation of kind of like psychological, like violence. And I mean, you're like, it's kind of his unraveling, but at the same time, you're tr like, I don't know that the movie does a really good job of making you see things from different yeah. perspectives you know so like and I think uh, there's a, there's a point in the movie where um, you you think you haven't nailed down and you find out you don't but um, it that kind of like shift feels very natural yeah. and it's not uh, it doesn't feel like it just does it just to do it yeah. you know like it just just feels really real and and i mean it's it's rooted in the characters are also wonderful in the way that she controls them uses the geography of the house to kind of like separate um different sets of people and um you know uh like the tension between everybody who hasn't who haven't seen each other in in years it's just it's so rich with like possibilities and emotional uh like i i guess there's like a catharsis to it towards the end and it's just kind of everything yeah <laughs> it's, it's written by Karen Kusama's husband Phil Hay and his writing partner uh, Matt Manfredi um, and so I think they did a really great job in writing this because there are just so many nook and crannies to this kind of story and with her very masterful like direction I think they were able to really tell a story that's so powerful in so many ways and it's one of her best works to date because I love all her films but this one really like she she brings it she like 
she goes zero to a hundred like real quick, and she is. Uh, it's just really tight. Yeah, there's like it's just nothing so wasted. Good. And I feel like if any other director tackled this kind of story, it would be really hard to kind of balance everything. But it was just well done. The cast is so great. Um, this is probably one of the my most like diverse cast I've seen, especially in like a Hollywood setting kind of movie, Hollywood dinner setting kind of movie, and um, yeah, the I mean, yeah, the cast is um, the actress from Middle of Nowhere, the actress from Midnight Swim, Midnight Swim, Logan, who Prometheus. He's just, he's so good. He's really good in this. Um, it's like... The whole thing's good from top to bottom. Yeah, it's crazy. It uh, Draft House is going to release it in March. Yeah, but don't read anything. Yeah. I think they're going to be really good about um, kind of like what we did, giving you as little as possible. I think just... it, this is a t type of film you have to really go in like not knowing anything yeah. because that's like the best way to watch it and... Just let it kind of yeah. wash over you. Yeah. Don't fight it. <laughs> yeah. So don't read anything. Pop, maybe watch maybe watch the trailer. I don't know when it comes out. But to be honest, this is probably going to be the, one of the best films to come out next year, 2016. Um, it's just like, the music's great. Yeah, it's really good. The music's awesome. Um, so music, cast. Direction, writing, story, story, yeah, everything. It's it's the whole it's the whole thing. Yeah, um, I just love her so much. I'm I'm glad that they really they they did such a good job with this one, and it's like continuously so surprising. This is one of the films that really caught me off guard and kept surprising me again and again, and it um, really beats your like all your expectations. And I think that's what's so great. And you probably won't be able to breathe until it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check out Sal's website, chromeyellow.com. And we'll be back with so much more reviews. All right. Thank you so much. Bye.